So today, guys, we have the most minimalistic launcher in the world. And I know this looks weird, but this is what it looks like when you first open up your phone. So for example, on the outside here, we do have Cover OS, which if I click on that, we have Cover OS. But if you go ahead and open it up, you can see we do have uh, 220, 240, the time, the date. We have a Google search and it said discover how OSIS can help you reduce your screen time. So the whole point of this is to be minimalistic so that you aren't on your phone all the time. And when you are, it's only for important things. So you have important down here, which says find enable gestures for navigations. And it gives you that little thing, the little update there. But then that goes away. You have your phone, you have your camera. And if you slide to the left, you have a to-do list. You have your notes, calendar, app usage. And then you have all these other little cool things right here. To your right, you have all your applications. And again, like I said, exactly what it sounds like. The point of this launcher is to be as minimalistic as possible. And I think it does a good job. It's very bland, but it keeps you more focused on your task rather than being on your phone at all times. So you're not more amped to just click on an application real fast. You just go left, go right, you got your to-do list, and you can just click on that, add that. You do have to actually, it looks like pay for the... Um, What's it called? You have to pay for lifetime twenty dollars for lifetime one time purchase or two ninety nine a month or nine ninety nine. So kinda of does suck that you have to pay for that in all honesty. But I mean if you want to go down this lifestyle and you're like, hey, you want something very minimalistic minimalistic launcher wise, it's not a bad option. Twenty dollars will launch though is kinda of crazy. When well, it's very minimalistic. I don't know, because you get all these options right here. You don't have to pay for it by the way, when it comes to that. You can still add as many notes as you want by yourself without paying anything. It's just also an option if you want to do to-do list. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Peace out.